Hi, this is Samantha from Prepped and Polished. Thanks for joining us today. This is part two of a video covering the relationship analysis questions for the SAT chemistry subject test. We're going to be looking at how to do correct explanation questions. Now you have two true statements and you're going to need to decide whether the second statement is the correct explanation of the first. There are three steps to this. Isolate, evaluate, and check in context. Step one is isolate. We want to isolate the phenomenon in statement one and isolate the explanation in statement two. Using our same example from the College Board website, we can see that in statement one, we have an A to B process. Combusting fuels with sulfur leads to the production of acid rain. We can write this as A yields B. What we're looking for is this arrow here, the process for which we want a correct explanation. In statement two, we see a very straightforward chemical reaction. We've written it here, sulfur oxides combined with water to form sulfur containing acids. Now that we've isolated, we can evaluate. The second statement should be a direct explanation or a logical conclusion for the phenomena in the first. We should be able to put this chemical reaction into this arrow and have the whole statement make sense. As we can see from statement one, combusting fuels containing sulfur does lead to SOX compounds. For the acid rain, we've written a general acid with the aqueous symbol at the end. We can easily see that statement two does fit nicely into this arrow. We have our reactant on one side and our product on the other. Even though these two are not directly the same, they are a general acid. Therefore, the chemistry makes sense and this is a correct explanation. The third step is check in context. This is optional if you're really sure about your chemistry. However, if you're a little shaky and you're not quite sure you have the right answer, go back and bring in the details. We can read that the combusting of fuels containing sulfur leads to the production of acid rain. And we know that combusting those fuels will make them rise on their heat, they'll combine with the atmospheric water, and they'll precipitate out as rain. Therefore, it makes sense in the context of the question. Checking will either give you a confidence boost that you're correct, or it will expose a major flaw and let you know you need to go back and re-examine your assumptions. Now let's look at another example and see why isolating is so important. Here's an example from the College Board website. Statement one, potassium has a lower first ionization energy than lithium has. This statement is true. Statement two, potassium has more protons in its nucleus than lithium has. This is also true. Now, let's do our steps and evaluate to see if statement two is a correct explanation for statement one. Step one is to isolate. Our phenomenon from statement one is lower first ionization energy. We're looking for an explanation that directly explains this. Statement two has the explanation of more protons. Now that we've isolated the problem, we can evaluate for a correct explanation. From statement two, we have the explanation that more protons gives a lower first ionization energy. You'll know that first ionization energies depend on effective nuclear charge, or Z effective, which depends on the number of protons plus the number of electron shells. From this, you'll easily be able to come up with counterexamples, like elements that are in the same period, where more protons actually equals a higher first ionization energy. Therefore, this cannot be the correct explanation. If you hadn't isolated, in the context of this question, the explanation might appear to be correct, but this is because lithium and potassium are in the same group. Because you isolated, you were able to get past the details and get to the crux of the problem. So to recap, remember to isolate, evaluate, and then if you need to, check for a correct explanation in context. If you found this two-part video helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, 
And for more information, you can visit preppedandpolished.com.